Hello everyone! In today's topic, we are going to talk about loss of exponent. These are the terms to remember. Product law, quotient law, exponent, base, long method. Let us have a recall in what we have learned from the past, so 7 to the 4th is read as 7 to the 4th, and then this one is the base, this one is the exponent. So the exponent indicates how many times the number is to be multiplied by itself. So if we have 7 to the 4th, it is equal to 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, meaning the 4 indicates that we are going to multiply 7 4 times by itself. And if you have negative 2 squared or negative 2 to the second, we are going to multiply it twice by itself. So 2 indicates that we are going to multiply negative 2 twice by itself. Now let's move on to the laws of exponents. The first one is the product law. The product law states that when multiplying powers with the same base, add the exponents. So if we have a to the m times a to the n, they have the same base a. So we are going to copy a and we will be adding m and n. So the answer is a raised to m plus n. Now let us have some examples for this one. So if we have 3 squared times 3 to the 4th, in here, we are going to copy the base 3 and we are going to add 2 plus 4. And 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, so we have 3 to the 6th. Now let us have another one. So negative 5 squared times negative 5 cubed or negative 5 to the 3rd. So in here, we are going to copy the base negative 5. And then we are going to add the exponents 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So the final answer is negative 5 to the 5th. Now let us have another one. How about if we have 5 to the 9th times 25 squared? So in here, as you can see, they don't have the same base. So what can we do? So remember, 25 squared is equal to 25 times 25. So if we are going to rewrite this one, it will be equal to 25 times 25. Then, take note, 25 is equal to 5 times 5. So we are going to rewrite again 25 as 5 times 5. So we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So how many 5s are there? Very good, there are 4. So we have to write 5 to the 9th times 5 to the 4th. In here, we can apply the product law. So we are going to copy the base and then add the exponents. Okay, so we have 5 to the 13th. So let us have another example 80 squared times 2 to the 5th. In here, they have different base. But remember that 8 squared is equal to 8 times 8. So if we are going to rewrite that one, we have 8 times 8. Then we copy times 2 to the 5th. And remember that 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. So we are going to rewrite 8 times 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we are having 6 twos, okay? So 2, 4, 6. Then we are going to copy times 2 to the 5th. Then we are going to rewrite it as 2 to the 6th. And then times 2 to the 5th. So in here, we are going to apply the product law. So we are going to copy the base and add the exponents. 6 plus 5 is 11. So we will be getting 2 to the 11th.
take note that when multiplying powers with different days, adding exponents is not applicable. Okay, take note of that. So different days. So what shall we do? So 2 squared times 3 squared. In here, we are going to write it as whole number and we are going to multiply it as whole number. Okay, so 2 squared is equal to 4. 3 squared is equal to 9. So 4 times 9 is equal to 36. Supposing we have this one. So negative 5 squared times negative 4 squared. So in here, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 and negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. So we have 25 times 16, which is equal to 400. That is how we multiply powers with different base. Now let us have the quotient law. It states that when dividing powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. So if we have a to the m divided by a to the n, it is equal to a raised to m minus n. Okay, so we are going to copy the same base and we are going to subtract the exponents. Example for this one, 4 to the 6 divided by 4 to the 3rd. So in here, we are going to copy the base, then we are going to subtract the exponent. So 6 minus 3, and then 6 minus 3 is 3, so we have 4 to the 3rd. So using the long method, let us see whether our answer is correct, okay, to prove that quotient law is really true. So 4 to the 6 over 4 to the 3rd, 4 to the 6 can be written as 4 times 4, times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. So we are going to multiply 4 6 times by itself. And then 4 to the 3rd, we are going to multiply 4 3 times by itself. So in here, we can cancel, then cancel, then cancel. So how many 4 are left? We have 3. So the answer is 4 to the 3rd. So the same using the law, the quotient law, and the long method. Now, let us have another one. 7 to the 4th divided by 7 to the 2nd power or 7 squared. In here, we are going to copy 7 and then we are going to subtract 4 minus 2. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have 7 squared. Let us use the long method to prove that our answer is correct. Okay? Just to see whether the quotient law is really uh, true or not. So 7 to the 4th will be written as 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Whereas 7 squared is written as 7 times 7. So we cancel 7, then cancel. What's left is 7 squared. So still we have the same answer. Now let us have another one. What if we have 5 to the 5th times 125 over 625? So take note that 125 can be written as 5 times 5 times 5 or 5 to the 3rd. And 625 can be written as 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So we are going to multiply 5 4 times by itself. So it can be written as 5 to the 4th. So it will be equal to, we copy 5 to the 5th times 5 to the 3rd over 5 to the 4th. In here, first we are going to apply the product law in the numerator. So we have 5 raised to 5 plus 3. We add the exponents and the result is 5 to the 8 over 5 to the 4th. Now we can apply the quotient law here. So we are going to copy the base and then subtract the exponents. So 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So we have 5 to the 4th power. Let us multiply the following. 9 to the 2nd times 9 to the 6th or 9 squared times 9 to the 6th in 5 seconds.
That's right. The answer is 9 to the 8. Now divide the following. 12 to the 15 divided by 12 to the 6th. That's right. The answer is 12 to the 9th. Now exercise time. Do worksheet 13 in the Google Classroom under week 15. Please type your name, student number, and class before you answer. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. See you again next time. Bye!